Y'all know what time it is, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Me got Ninja Killer 74, and we're putting it back in the mix. In the last one, we took down Okumura in a palace that, you know, I in boss fight that I made, you know, uh, I made it very clear how I felt about it. Um, it was a lot easier to go through uh, New Game Plus. Uh, I'll say that much. I thought that was Mitsuru on that TV back there for a second. Actually, what, what is on these TVs back here real quick? Let me see something real quick. You got a, 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 blur, a bird? A uh, random woman eating an apple? Okay, no, that's not. Never mind. Alright, uh, we're going to talk to Mishima first, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is so amazing. The fan of these fever has run rampant. The fan site's blowing up. So, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh, so I've been researching that actor, and I came across some new substantial information. Are you free to hear what I found? Is he still on about the actor BS, bro? All right. He was trying to get us to go after some after actor and steal their heart because he was just, oh. So you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently, he's marrying the idol from those rumors. He probably just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. His reputation is a total 180 after he announced his marriage, though. People used to hate him, but now all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. At any rate, we can't oppose the will of the public. Or, or you, apparently. Good thing we decided not to change his heart. Support for the fan of these would have really dropped if we had. Here we are. Oh, that always happens when I start recording. I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. Probably because I always record after I wake up. And what exactly will we win? <laughs> Proof. Proof that we're the ones doing the right thing. Actually. Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we just need to do more than uh, answer promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So we're going to purge them. Uh, uh, what? That sounds kind of twisted. Yeah. No, no. Oh, don't worry. I'm not actually planning on hurting anyone. The truth is, I looked up some of these idiots uh, who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. So you're threatening people on our behalf. I'll have you... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They totally stopped dissing the pee thieves. Don't ever call us that again, bro. There are still some people who say they don't believe, but deep down, they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> Isn't this great? Plus, now that all those haters are gone, people are putting a bunch more info on the forum. Post after post after post. It's all, please, and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Fun? All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Huh? Akiyama kun. Fuck! I keep yawning. I'm sorry about that. Yo, Mishima, haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other here not that long ago. Oh, yeah. Guess you're right. Hmm? Aki Yamakun? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I don't know. You just seem quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Zero. I know, right? You should call that a compliment, bro. You just got called one of the better Mega Man characters. Damn it. He acts like I'm a total nothing, but he still takes time to try and mess with me. I've changed, though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I even heard he's been hanging out with, with some shady people. Okay, I thought I was muted for a second. I was going to be pissed if I was muted this whole fucking time. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh. 
Oh, fuck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. My fault. Wait, that's it. We can change his uh, his heart instead of that actor's. I gotta stop recording after I just wake up. Alright, it's decided. Your next target's gonna be Akiyama-kun. Let's see, where's his info? Um, speaking of targets... Are you guys gonna come after me someday, too? Are you feeling guilty? You're really considering it? <laughs> good, 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 good joke, Amamiya. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a joke, huh? Uh, it's definitely a joke, huh? See you around. Yeah. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'll send you Akiyama-kun's info later. Seems like this man's going on a power trip a little bit. So he just wants to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him? Didn't he give us some other rare requests too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima-kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently he has threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Wait, hold on. Whoa, wait up, he ain't that bad. Yep. Hmm, I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find the shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're going to change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track down his shadow mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action will be to defeat it and change his heart. Mm. Mishima-kun, it feels almost wrong to consider such an option. But... We can't have him keep uh, causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not we change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. Let's go. Let's carry out our plan. Yeah, let's just go ahead into Mementos and track down Mishima Shadow. I think this is the only time we get one of the few times we go, or one of the few times we go into Mementos in the evening. <gasps> Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart, even after everything I've done for you guys. Me, of all people, if you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more pa uh, famous, almost like popular. And if you did that, I'd get some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be just some stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers, get out of here. I want to talk to your leader, alone. Alright, so you want a 1v1? This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I had accepted what it was, or what I was, a zero. Embraced it even. But once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Damn it. I mean... Seeing a real-life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could do something more. I want to change society, too. I want the world to notice me. Oh, boy. If I can just make the fan of these famous, maybe I'll end up famous, too. You are riding our coattails, quite literally. Can you blame me? I mean, look at how boring I am. But you guys, you're special. You have the ability to change people, to change the world. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong, but if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? It, it, anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? But, what? You aren't going to change my heart. Uh, do it yourself. Hey. Come on, let's go. I'm sure he's learned something if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? Later, bro. No. I need the Phantom Thieves. I need to be famous. I need to... I... L. Looks 
like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Miscalculation? What do you mean? Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Oh. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Uh, warn me? Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. What do you mean by that? Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> Oh boy. Again? Dream again. See, once it's just an occurrence, but twice, you know, I'd start to worry. If it's a third time, we got a pattern going. So, uh, you you might want to, you might want to talk that out. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. Okay. Damn, we're almost at ninety percent. No school today. So I've been thinking about all the different ways I could save Echo. But the best method would be getting evidence of Sukasa's misconduct. That's the conclusion I keep coming to. So I'm thinking of asking around in the red light district, if it's okay with you. Do you think you could help me out? Hey. Hey. More yawning. That's like seven times well, in, hold on. It's like seven times in how many minutes? 13 minutes. That is not normal. All right, so yeah, now we just gotta wait until those 19 days are up to see what the fuck happens next. So if you guys remember, we went to Mementos that one time, and there was this cheetah, cheater, Ose dude, right? You know, the <laughs> country bumpkin ass nigga. Uh, we gotta do, so let's, uh, let's see if we can do something about that. Now, if you heard, right, we heard about there being some guy in an arcade who's like really good at the game. So let's go talk, let's see if we can go find that guy. And there he is, there's a kid there. Who's that kid? He's amazing. That's the king. Oh, I've heard about him, he's just a little guy, huh? Must still be in grade school. He's dual wielding. Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself. And it's still too easy for him. Well, I guess that's that. What a monster! Yeah, so we're gonna see if, we ha if he has some tips on how to beat that cheater. What do you want? Nah, sounds like too much work. Don't take it personal. I turn everyone down. Later. Annoying, huh? Oh, you mean that guy who cheats? It really makes me mad when he does that. But I can still beat him, so I don't really care. Just forget about him. Uh -huh. You sound like the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, this kid's also, uh, his hat's a meme. If You've probably seen this hat around. 
if you ever played this game or whatever and you're watching this and you've seen this hat randomly put on other characters yeah that's where it comes from i just realized this jacket says noobs on it so you're saying you want to beat the cheater you seem like a nice guy but just let it go the fan of these are really cool aren't they Here we go again. My apologies. Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? Uh, they came to my school. <laughs> oh, you mean a Shujin Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But, um, teaching you how to play gun about won't be easy. And I won't be able to get anything out of it. Let's make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know. How about this? I want to get to know the Phantom Thieves. It's probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. Well, what do you say? Is it a deal? Let's do it. Whoa, seriously? Well, if you really want to that much, then... I guess for sure you were just going to give up. Or thought for sure you were going to give up. Well, I didn't see this coming. But the identities, or the identities had their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? Uh, what's your name? Oh, uh, you're gonna tell them my name? My name is Shinya Oda. Tell the families my name and have them post it somewhere only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough as an autograph and proof that they know my name. So we gotta go back to talk to Futaba because she mentioned that she oh she mentioned that she uh, hacked the servers before. Yo, Futaba, what's up? You found the king? No surprise there. So did he tell you to take down that cheater? He's going to on one condition. He wants us to introduce or he wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give ourselves away though. That's where you come in. Maybe you could hack it to the Gunabout server and do something. But we won't be able to get in touch with them that way. You could send them a calling card. A calling card? What are we going to steal? Oh, how about the homepage? I already hacked into it, so it's as good as stolen. Mm, okay, I'll write a calling card saying that we're going to steal the Gunabout homepage. After that... You'll need to leave evidence that the Phantom Thieves hacked into it. The King will have no choice but to believe it was really us. Ooh, this sounds like fun. I'll put our logo smack dab at the top of the front page. Perfect. We'll go see the King. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him, so wait for our word to start the hacking. All right, you can count on me. All right, well, let's go back to Akihabara. Uh, uh. I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. It'll be fine. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm hacking in now. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Calling card? Huh? Something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh. Is... is this for real? I mean... You can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site. Which means... 
Phantoms. You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves. No way. How'd you do it? Oh, that's so cool. So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Sounds so nice. Stop them from moving. You gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Uh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. Jeez, they're critiquing. The king's swearing up a storm today. That's what happens when he teams up with another player. And why everyone also watches him from a distance. All right, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves too. I have the ultimate trump card. Uh, you, you do? So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. Well, I guess it's a deal. Yeah, it's a deal. Oh shit. Oops, my fault. Fast forward. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Why, thank you. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. No, I'm just an expert marksman. That's all you need to worry about. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? I was going to make a joke about the United States of America, but let's not do that. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast it shall be the birth of the tower. Tower. Well, if you guys were curious, yes, I did end up getting a tower persona. And it's somebody who we've had in the past who that I brought back. All right. So we now got down shot. It's earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. Oh yeah, if you talk to this kid or whatever, it improves your kindness somehow. Maybe because he's a child. I don't know. You can see a TV quiz later tonight too, but uh, I'm not going to really care about that. I'm a Mia-san. I'm so glad I caught you. Hey, we should exchange IDs. It's not like I'm here every day, so... Uh, sure. Cool. There. Got it. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you and gun about. Bye. See you later, I'm a Mia -san. Who are we handle with tonight? Ooh. Ah, you're back. Hey, inmate. 
Okay, special assignment, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. Uh, God damn! Hmm. Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He's been cooped up in his study, and his voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after the treasure gets stolen. It's be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. It'll be okay, Haru. Right. Mm, I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, hello there, Sojuro. Hey, Sojuro. Don't help him out. Uh, thanks. And thanks. Ah, oh, the regulars will be here any minute. Don't you ever get lonely, Sochan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you given up on marriage? <laughs> All I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation, followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things from my coffee and my curry. That's enough for me. He always dodges my questions like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? Teach his own. That's a real roundabout way of showing disapproval. Anyway, the only thing I care about in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back anytime, okay? Hey. She seemed especially aggressive today, huh? Would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far, not too close. Welcome. Oh, it's Paul Heyman! You just don't know when you uh, when to give up, do you? Well, I just learned something very interesting. Futaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? And that's not a good parenting. Yeah. And what have you done to care for her? You know quite well what I've done, and it's about time you pay up. I don't like how I just made this dude Paul Heyman. I don't. I don't. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Futaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? We could always fight out in court. I wonder who'd win between a blood relative and a mere legal guardian. <sighs> You. Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I've heard all about him and his criminal record. And that leaves us with a parent who won't let her go and a delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't seem to be quite the best environment for Utaba, now does it? Shut the fuck up, bro. Y you have a problem, punk? I'll sue you for intimidation. Hey. Keep your neck out of this. Just go on upstairs, okay? Sojiro, I hunger. Uh oh. Futaba John, long time no see. I. 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 Futaba. See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck. This is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like this because she saw you here. Hmm. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court. So you may as well just give me the money. Ugh. Well, I hope you've reached the right decision. Bye now. Maybe it's because he has the cap on. Maybe that's why I made him Paul Heyman. Futaba. You should just head home for today. I'll take you. So it's your own. Futaba's okay. All that drama must have tied her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is Futaba's uncle. And he did say blood relative. 
After Wakaba died, Futaba was passed around all her relatives. His place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her and forced her to sleep on the floor like an animal. He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I had to step in. I couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment. So I decided to take Futaba under my care. Even back then, he was whining about all the damn expenses. I threw some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed, but now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Saving Futaba was no mistake, bro. Hmm. Thanks. Never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way, though, it's my fault. Futaba didn't leave her room. I just didn't know how to help her, though. Or help her through it. I'd make curry, leave it by her door, and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. So if you ask me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood's thicker than water, right? I wonder what would be the best for Futaba. Sorry. <laughs> Look at me, spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Though it's kind of weird. For some reason, I just feel like telling you this stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. Huh. Guess there really is something special about you. And he's opening up to me. Coffee mastery. All right. Yeah. It's already pretty late. I should be getting home. I'm still worried about Futaba. Don't stay up too late, you hear? Oh, and uh, thanks. More kindness. Hey, Futaba's fast asleep. Didn't mean to get you tangled up in all this mess. If I can help somehow. No, you don't have to do anything. The fact that you asked is enough. Man, though, I never know what I'm doing when I talk to you. I just keep yammering on about stuff I never planned on talking about. Must be going to see now, huh? Anyway, don't worry about that guy. I'll find some way to deal with him. You just keep looking out for Futaba. Seems like you two are really hitting it off, so... That's all I had to say. Don't forget to lock up before bed later. That's nice. Oh my heart. Swoon. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a weird voice clip. <laughs> Swoon! What are the pain of these doing? Everyone's incompetent. Those fam thieves need to hurry up and deal with Okumura. Not just him, but all companies that exploit their employees. Yeah, we're in trouble too, you know. Just take out one, you gotta deal with them all. It's only fair. Why are they raking us all uh, over the coals? Raking us over the coals? That's one I haven't heard before. Let's get started. All right, so everybody had some free time. Well, I appreciate that, Kawakami. What's this? Let's take this time to read. What do you want to do? We're gonna read Royal Revelations. I became a demon to find my own path. Ah. Stories about great people from the past, huh? I'm just a little suspicious of how true they are. Alright, we can read a little bit more. The desire for knowledge leads to an unexpected end. Oh, the teacher's back. All right, nice. Yeah, 
in the kick 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 All right, let's hang out with our council today. It's been a while, right? Marky, how you doing, bro? Welcome. Hey, good work today. It's already autumn. You'd expect it to get a lot less hot, or a little less hot, huh? Uh, yes. Ah, oh, thanks to you, my research has been going so well, really. You've been such a great help on my So, uh, I wanted to talk to you, but do you have time? Hmm. Sure. Have him out. Thank you. Let's head out now. Oh, you want to go to the cafe? I'm sorry. Sorry for coming over out of the blue. You must have a real knack for coffee, Amamiya Kun. This is fantastic. You'd like another cup? Thanks, but uh, I'll pass for today. You see, it's about the research we've been discussing. I'm actually putting it all together in a paper. It's been really progressing lately. Thanks and no small part to you, but I feel like I've hit another wall. So I'm sorry to bother you, but I'd appreciate it if you talk to me through this again. Well, I mean, I can do that, yeah. Thank you. Really? Thank you. You're really saving me here. And deepening our understanding of the heart. I want to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you what, what that was the point of my research, right? It's come, uh, thanks to you that my project has come this far. <sighs> but realize of all that progress, I've realized a problem. One that may have any solution. Even if my research makes great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people, or only save the people directly within my reach. You need more than that? True. Uh, I guess it's better than not being able to save anyone, but I just can't be satisfied with that, you know? I mean, there's so many people out there suffering so badly, they can't even speak up and let that pain out. This is a painful, cruel, bitter world, and there's only so much one individual can do to fight against that. I've said it before, working as a counselor only makes that more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. You know, I... Deep down, I don't think it's enough that I can just help people around me. A few people out of billions. I feel a sneeze coming. Sorry about that. I want to help more people overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. In turn, we have infinite methods by which we can try to treat it. And like I said earlier, there are people who need help desperately, but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma. And I guess that's what I ultimately realized. So give up? Yeah, that'd probably be easier, unfortunately. I've never been great at giving up when I should. <laughs> Excuse me. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand, and then remove the root of their cause of their pain. Sounds like something out of a dream. Hmm. Uh, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? Yeah, you build rapport, you know, and the best thing that you can do at first is listen. Don't just offer solutions. I'll try not to do too many asides like this, by the way, while, while we're waiting for story stuff to happen. Because, you know, that takes away time from stuff that we're doing. I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. Everyone's cognition. Okay, so remember stuff about mementos being everyone's palace. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't breathe there for a second. That was weird. Sorry about that. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. Hmm. I'm a Mia Kun. Did I say something wrong? 
all hearts share some things, I guess. Hmm. Yes, there are common factors. No, wait. Oh. You're right. My God, you're right. That's it, Amamiya Kun. But collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. Oh, it's so simple. Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right. And if I can combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back to cognitive science too. Cognitive science? Uh -huh. Hmm? Oh, uh, yes. What about it? Oh, I didn't say earlier. The research I'm doing is on cognitive science. Oh, but I'm sorry. I need to go. I need to get this in my paper while it's still fresh in my mind. I knew it'd be worth bringing to you. Or bringing up to you. Thank you, Amamiya Kuna. I swear I'll repay you for this. Okay. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're doing pretty well. Alright. Alright then. Well, I need to get going. See ya. Oh, I'm a Miyakun. Sorry for, uh, <laughs> rushing out. Whew! So suddenly, uh, earlier. I want to say that so bad, but I know I'm not supposed to. Calm down, dog. <laughs> Sorry. I ended up running to the station on sheer adrenaline. I'm so out of shape, though. Gotta do something about that. Anyway. How yeah, you helped me come to a major realization. The answer was right in front of me, and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is focus on my paper. Yeah, focus on that. Oh, you mean the actual paper, not bread. Never mind. After all your help, I'm gonna finish it for your sake too. Seriously, thank you. Bye. I think we'll do one more event tonight. Father was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him, too. Is this what normally happens? Madarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you, and sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is worried, but let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry. It'll be just like it always is. You know, they've really been pushing this. They've really been pushing this line of thinking about, like, don't worry, it'll just be keep going. It'll be like normal. This always happens. That seems a bit worrying. Anyways, let's go talk to everybody's favorite journalist. Oh, honey. Hi, Lala. Hi, Oya. Hey. Oh, there you are. So you you won't believe how weird the chief's been acting. Sit down so I can give you the details. Pazuzu. Lalachan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. <laughs> so the chief reduced my quota and even apologized to me. He said he's been concerned for my health, which is actually kind of creepy now that I think about it. Anyway, that's not all. He said he's let me reopen my investigation to what happened to Kaio. He told me he wants to do everything I can do to pursue the truth. I think he was serious. I wonder what happened to make him change so suddenly. He reflected on his actions. What? Just out of the blue? The whole thing's too convenient. Seems a little fishy, you know? I mean, you asked me for the chief's name the other day, right? Did I? I can't remember. Hmm. Why are you giving him such a hard time? Aren't you gonna tell him the other good news? I... I know where Kaio is. That was part of the chief's apology to me. Apparently he did some investigating on his own. So he followed up on my journalist friend's source, and it turns out, she really is alive after all. Thank God. This is incredible news. So where is she? 
a mental hospital. That explains why she hasn't been able to contact me this whole time. I really want to go see her, but to be honest, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to know the truth. Not just about Kyle's current state, but about what happened to her that night, too. I'll go with you. Huh? That's really considerate of you, but the hospital she's in is far out in the countryside. But thank you. You give me the courage I need to do this. I'm going to go see her. No matter what happens, I need to see this through to the end. Otherwise, I wouldn't be Ichigo Oya, journalist extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm really glad I talked to you about this. I never would have made my mind up without your help. You know, you're way more than just some high school kid. You're almost like my guidance counselor. I can sense Oya's deep appreciation for me. Nice. How are we doing on time? Oh, I can do one more event. All right. Oh, by the way, everything with the chief worked out okay, but the higher ups are still keeping an eye on me. So I'll need you to keep coming with the juicy tidbit so I can keep writing about the fan of these. All right. Let's see what you have for me today. Nice. Can't wait for next time. Hiya! You get to talk? Thanks for pushing me to go see Kayo. I'm a journalist from now on. I'm always gonna chase the truth. Good luck. Thanks. You really are a weird kid, you know that? Whenever I talk to you, I get this heightened sense of duty for some reason. I'll come back with some awesome stories, so let's meet up again. Okay, I'm going to hang up. Got to pack up for my big trip. See ya. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Hey. Oh, you able to grab a seat? Why don't you read something? Oh, let's finish that book. Hmm? Humans experience sorrow when they fail to reach omniscience. Mm. What the fuck? Kind of vague ass. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've already got the book reading thing. I think there's like a bookworm type thing that you get in the thieves den. I don't know if I've done that yet though. Now everyone. Artemis for eating. Artemis for art. Artemis for reading. Stores will use whatever reasons they can to pull in customers this season in particular. Ah yes, autumn. Also say that autumn is sport or people also say autumn is for sports. A while back, baseball was the national sport, but these days people have been into soccer. As you know, black and white are the common colors for soccer balls. Now then, Amamiya san, could you take a look at this picture? Okay, it's a soccer ball. Do you know this one? How many white and black shapes are there respectively on a soccer ball? Uh it's twenty white and twelve black. That is correct. The ball is composed of 12 black pentagon. Mm, excuse me. Pentagons and 20 white uh, hexagons. It is made up of a total of 32 surfaces. By the way, soccer balls apparently used to be only one color. They changed it to black and white so it would be better seen on television. Or so I hear anyway. Television was still in black and white when they started airing soccer in Europe. At any rate, the contrast of white and black next to each other. It's a slick design, don't you think? Nice growing. Yeah. Alright, we'll do one more event and then we'll call it quits. A recent design that's caught my eye is the moon burger, which uses an egg to represent the moon. I'm well aware of the bad rumors surrounding Akuma Foods, but you can't argue with hunger. You think someone like her really eats hamburgers? I mean, I don't know. Don't judge a book by its cover, Morgana. Alright, our last thing for, t for this part is going to be hanging out with Futaba. <sighs> I 
I bought all the books from that bookstore uh, in Jinbo uh, Jinbocho, by the way. Alright, let's hang out with Futaba. The next promise on the list is, go to school, right? Pretty hard stuff for the second boss. And it's gonna be even harder knowing there are people there too. All right, let's do it. Welp, ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. You're going to school? Oh, uh, never mind, just go have some fun. Welcome to Shujin, Futaba. Here we are. School? I think my heart's gonna pop out of my chest. Oh, Makoto! Huh? Wh what are you doing here? Um, well... I see. A promise list, like what you used to make with your mother. Well, do you want to come in? Um... Can I use a go home instead? <laughs> I think this is the first time somebody's ever referenced an actual, like, item like that. Let's do this together. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Most of the students have already left, and all the teachers are in a meeting. Oh, and I'll join you. I can use my position as student council president to avoid any problems that may arise. Really? You're incredible... If I got you two with me, this place is going to be as easy as fighting a trash mob. I'm not sure I understand. That's a good thing, right? Anyway, come on. I'll show you around the school. Um... This is the cafeteria where some students choose to eat lunch. Lunch. That reminds me of this time. I was with one kid who didn't get a pudding with my meal. Oh, and this other time I ate a strawberry with ketchup on it. Ugh. I didn't really... Notice, because they're both red. It was really gross. Uh, anyway, the cafeteria is pretty boring, huh? Let's move on. Um. This is the school library. We have all the regular uh, academic fare here. Textbooks, encyclopedias, study guides. But we also have a few manga and light novels that they request of some, especially vocal students. So many books. Do you like to read, Futaba? Mm-hmm. Back in elementary school, I memorized the titles of all the books on a shelf in just one glance. The other kids thought I was making up when I told them, though. But then I recited all the titles to prove it. They just laughed and called me a freak. Am I a weird, friend? I bet they were just surprised. No, they were really creeped out. Ugh, school is the worst. Well, should we move along? Only the classrooms remain, though. Uh, though on the second thought, maybe we should pass on those today. Shall we head back to the entrance? I'm sorry, Futaba. No. Don't be. It's my fault. I remembered all that sad stuff on my own. I guess dwelling on the past is just a bad habit of mine, huh? I think it's cute. Uh, huh? What kind of weird fetish stuff are you into, Ren? <laughs> <laughs> but... Honestly, Futaba, it's clear how much you've improved recently. You would have never gotten so worried about this before. Huh? What I mean is, worrying about something is the first step toward changing it. Coming to school like this is a huge breakthrough, Futaba. You're doing great. Right, Renkun? Yeah. Ooh, a new discovery. Wait, so you're happy with me even though I got totally depressed? Hmm. Is this like that saying about when life gives you lemons? Maybe I can make lemonade for the phantom to use, uh, figuratively speaking. You're right. That would be wonderful. Could you actually make us some lemonade though? That sounds like that'd be like fantastic. <laughs> oh yeah. Rank up, up, up. Position hack. That's a really good ability, actually. I'm sure you decided to make a lot of friends. Or you would uh, make a lot of friends if you decided to come back to school. Now, Futaba. Friends. Futaba? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, 
All right, I went back to school, so that means promise number two is all done. Okay, going home. Anyways, let's retreat for now. What are you feeling for dinner? How about curry? Okay. Time to make it like a rabbit and hop on out of here. That was nice. Hoi! Thanks so much for showing me around school today. Uh, feeling crazy fulfilled, but also feeling super tired, to be honest. I can't believe everyone runs uh, such a high-level dungeon every single day. You guys are really OP. I get the sense I'll load up fast if I stay close to you, but... I still think I'd run out of MP way too fast. Don't you mean SP? I'll stop. The real world is a scary place. Well, you know what that means. I'll help you any time. Really? But I still gotta work on it, huh? So much for taking it easy on me. Ugh. But I do feel like I'm not. I'm making a lot of progress thanks to you, Ren. I'm gonna keep. I'm uh, gonna keep at it at my own pace for my next goal too. Gotta focus on healing when you need to, right? And I can't just keep getting carried through all this. I gotta learn how to fend for myself. Okay, later. Uh. All right. Oh, Warden texting. There haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Okumura took down, uh, took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the recent uh, success we've had recently. So it's because of us? Damn! I'm glad we're famous. But it's highly probable they'll become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're also going to be in trouble if we let the public opinion get down the path of heading. Yes, there have been a great deal more instigating uh, comments lately. And we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity must be upsetting. We should keep that in mind. Well, we're going to save here. Let's see. Right here. And with that being said, damn near 58 minutes in, uh, we're going to call it quits here. And in the next one, we're going to start off by talking to our main, or our favorite former Yakuza Awai. So, I want to thank everybody for watching. To my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between, I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuce.